wrong But yup, of course you lie Sit there and organize Try to be more than just hoes Um, thinking you sort of tight Cause I'm on road you line Thinking you whores have got flow <laughs> No, you can record the lies Give me Yo, what's up? Again, Lockout Men here to bring you a little bit of trucking news that's that's going on in the industry right now. And it is kind of crazy because I did not think I didn't even I, I didn't even know that this certain trucking company owns this certain trucking school, man. I did not know that. I did not know that. So let's get into it. You guys know about Warner. You guys want me to call Warner. That's a suggestion. Do you guys want me to call Warner next? It's, it's so many of you out there that's making a suggestion for me to call Warner. I just haven't got around to doing it yet, but I did not realize that Warner owns Roadmasters. I did not know that. See, that's why I keep doing my research and keep, keep my head knowledgeable about what's going on in this trucking industry. I found out today that Warner was hit with a $40 million judgment. $40 million. And it centers on entry-level driver training. Come to find out that Warner owns Roadmasters Trucking Schools. I did not know that. I did not know that. So, a New Jersey... A New Jersey? Why do I got New Jersey on my mind for? I don't know. A New Mexico jury awarded a family more than 40 million dollars 40 million dollars in lawsuits involving a warner enterprise driver the trucker had just graduated from warner's roadmasters driving school raising questions about driver training on October 11th, a jury for the first judicial district court in Santa Fe, New Mexico, awarded a family of Catherine Amargio $40 million, $40 million in lawsuits against Warner, including $10 million in punitive damages. The jury found Warner, the jury found Warner one of his drivers and the driver instructor all negligent in the fatal crash the driver was on his eighth day of driving since graduating from warner's road masters driving school when the crash occurred now look as i said before about these trucking schools they teach you enough to get your license now, when you get to one of these mega carriers that has driver trainers, they are the ones that's supposed to train you about what's going on on the road. Train you how to properly train you how to properly drive the truck in conditions for the road. That's what the driver trainer is supposed to do. The schools only give you enough information to pass for your CDL training. That's it. That's it. That's all they do. This guy right here, man, this this is a sad situation involving this driver and I'm not even sure if Warner is going to is is going to make it out of this judgment right here. 40 million dollars. 40 million dollars man 40 million now with all of the all of these other trucking companies that shutting down because of because for whatever reason this 40 million judgment will will likely put a hit on warner big time armargio versus warner approximately 8 p.m on february 23rd 2017 Catherine armargio if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, I am so sorry, was killed in a head-on collision, according to the complaint. A Margio car was struck by Warner truck driven by Jose Johnson. Johnson was a recent graduate of Roadmasters Truck Driving Schools and a student driver at Warner. Johnson had crossed four lanes of traffic in a pavilion in a paved meridian when he struck a, Mar a Margio. The crash occurred on Interstate 10 outside of Las Cruz, New Mexico. 
It was later discovered that Johnson had just received his CDL through Warner's Roadmaster Driving School. Johnson had no experience driving a commercial vehicle before attending the school. Johnson and his trainer, Gabriel Perez, had picked up a just-in-time low in Buckeye, Arizona earlier that day. Attorneys for the estate of Amargio filed a wrongful death suit against Warner. The lawsuit claims that Warner was negligent in allowing Johnson to drive on his own soon after receiving his CDLs. There's no company that will let you get in their truck fresh out of school because you don't know how to properly drive that truck. It's like I said before, the training school is only going to train you just enough to pass for your CDL license. Now, to actually get out here, to be focused, to be diligent in driving these semis, you're going to need additional training. And that's where the driver trainer comes into play. Not fit to drive. Johnson attended a four-week course at Roadmaster's Orlando location. According to court documents, he received C's in safety, road driving, defensive driving, and angle backing. After his CDL exam, Johnson was required to retake the basic portion twice before he was issued a waiver. Despite struggles during the course work and the exam, Roadmaster graduated Johnson. He was given his CDL and was hired by Warner. He began driving full-time on February 16, 2017 as a student driver. Warner student driver program has three phases. Perez was required to observe Johnson for a minimum of 30 hours in the first five days. Johnson was required to observe Perez for 10. Johnson was also prohibited from driving without an instructor present. However, between February 16th and February 23rd of 2017, Johnson drove approximately 64% of the time unsupervised, according to court doc documents. Within Johnson's first four days, neither he nor Perez logged any observation time. Now see, right here, I'm not going to speculate, but I am going to give an opinion because that's what we do. I'm putting all of this on the trainer. It, I got to because the trainer the trainer was supposed to make sure that 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 the driver is doing what he's supposed to do now if the trainer is just sitting there and just counting his money while the while the driver drives then that's not the trainer for you you see what I'm saying all he cares about is just Oh, I gotta make more money. I gotta make more money. Especially if he's a lease driver. Okay? A lot of lease drivers, and this is from my my opinion only. A lot of lease drivers from these big mega carriers, a lot of them does the 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 training program. Not too many of the company drivers do that, but a lot of lease drivers do because it's more money in their pockets by training, uh, by becoming one of the driver trainers. Every mile that the trainees drive is all the miles that goes into the driver trainer's pocket. So if you got a driver trainer that only cares about the money and not care about you understanding what you're supposed to be doing, then yeah, that's all wrong. And right here, sort of proves it by the driver trainer not logging any observation time to let the company know that, hey, is this driver fit to drive or not? Court documents reveal that Perez had been disciplined two previous times as an instructor. At the end of Armelio's, Ar Ar Margio's death, Perez was on a felony probation. Wow. Amargio's attorney, 
claimed that Justin Time lows were the reason behind Johnson and Perel, I mean, and Perez breaking protocol. Exactly. I, I wouldn't even put I, I wouldn't even put it past him if they probably ran illegal. He probably he probably had the driver trainee driving his driving on his time, which he's not supposed to. Johnson and Perez, Johnson and Perez, to meet the stringent time deadlines contained in those loads or to keep the wheels turning enough to satisfy Warner, was forced to forego necessary observation time and training, depriving Johnson of an additional experience he needed to safely operate a 18-wheeler under the 49 warner assigned these lows with the knowledge that the time requirements for the lows would require perez to be sleeping while johnson was driving according to the complaint according to the complaint investigation into other student drivers shows that it is not uncommon for instructors to be sleeping while students are driving the lawsuit also claims that drivers can become trainers as early as three months after they're receiving their CDL. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying right here? It's I I was I was impressed, but I I've been asked plenty of times to become a driver trainer after the three months that I was with US Express. I turned it down. I knew that I knew right then and there, I didn't want to be a driver trainer. So I went back and I turned around and I said, no, nah, take me off, take me off the list. I'm good. I'm I'm good being a being a solo driver. This is Warner's fault, too. This is Warner's fault. They knew that that load, that time sensitive load that they gave that they gave the driver, I mean the driver trainer and the trainee, they knew. They knew that that load was was a hot load and it needed to be somewhere on time. They shouldn't have gave it to the driver, the driver trainee and the driver trainer. I I I I digress. I think the driver trainer as again, he was a lease driver. That's why they gave it to him. So basically what Warner is trying to say is that their driver training program is just fine. They don't have no problems with it. Well, obviously there is a problem. There is a problem, a big problem. Your student driver killed somebody while the student, I mean, while the trainer was either in the back or not paying attention at all, period. But you know, guys, I did not know that Warner owns Roadmasters, man. <laughs> he know that it says right here that among the among the largest trucking companies warner employs about ten thousand drivers and owns more than seven thousand four hundred trucks warner also owns 15 driving schools that it used to train its own applicants in need of a cdl according to court documents carlos rome oversees all 15 driver schools for Warner, including Roadmaster's driving school. Roadmaster was acquired by Warner in 2015. The court document also points out that Warner relies on his own schools to turn out drivers to address the high turnover rate. And yes, Warner does have a high turnover rate. Let me say something about that. I believe Warner is also one of those companies that offer a high sign-on bonus as well. So you gotta be you, you gotta be wary wary of of companies that offers extravagant sign-on bonus. Is it because they can't keep their drivers in the seat? Got to think about that. According to the complaint, Worldmaster is a three to four week driving school to obtain CDL. Students receive 40 hours of behind the wheel, none of which is over the road. It also, its website also suggests that its school is the purpose for obtaining a CDL, not to drive without supervision. See, 
That's all it is. That's all it is. They're only going to give you the basics to get your CDLs, and that's it. Now, it says right here on there, it says right here that a very common mistake people make when choosing the CDL tra training program is thinking that once they get their CDLs, they'll be out on the open road the next day. But guess what? No reasonable company is going to stick a new driver with a fresh CDL behind the wheel of a semi truck and just hope for the best. That's that's just not how it works. Now, let me reiterate this little paragraph right here. Some companies do not all companies. Some companies do. When you get your CDL and you come fresh out of school, you're supposed to go over the road training with a driver training. I mean, with a driver trainer for at least a month. But because of of the freight and they need somebody to fill the seats right away, some companies foregoes that training. Federal regulations regarding new drivers. Court documents refer to refer to the federal regulations governing who is qualified to safely operate a commercial vehicle one requirement mandates that drivers be qualified by reasons of an experience training or both point out the two bullet points right here a cdl does not indicate that the holder is a trainer or an experienced truck or bus driver a CDL merely indicates that the holder has passed the minimum skills and knowledge tests concerning the type of vehicle he and she proposed to drive. So that's it, man. That's it. Warner hit with a $40 million judgment over entry-level trainers. Man, come on, come on, big time mega carriers. Y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna really mess up by getting these inexperienced uh, driver trainers on your team. You gotta turn around and make it right. Gotta make it right. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but y'all gotta make it right. All right. If you guys like videos like this and more, yo, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit that bell for more videos like this, man. This is your humble host, Lockout Man. Don't forget to hook me up with some coffee. I'm right here at Love. I'm just saying. But uh, come back at me in another video, man. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for joining me.